So anytime that there are reports that there's a nuclear power plant that either comes under attack or there's a fire at a nuclear power plant, people are right to be concerned. Um, this is a war zone. And the fact that Russian troops would uh, fire and attack uh, at the plant is something that I think uh, should give everybody a uh, real, real um, sense of danger of what's going on here. What we believe is that the plant uh, is secure, um, that there doesn't appear to be any increase in radiation coming from the plant. Um, and the press reports, at least at this point, indicate that the fire is at a training building, not in the reactor plant itself. So the immediate questions are whether or not the containment building is uh, in one piece so that there's a large block of cement around the reactor itself. Uh, and is there electricity which can then fuel the pumps that keep the water in the plant cold? Um, if so, then there's no reason to be alarmed as long as the plant doesn't come back under attack. Uh, and if the Ukrainian officials can access the site, put the fire out uh, and secure it for the future. But those are a lot of ifs given that this is a war zone. The VVERs were designed so that if it lost power, there wouldn't be a spike in radiation. There wouldn't be a way for the plant um, to on its own go critical. As long as there is backup power and the fuel doesn't melt, the water can remain cool and the plant is safe. So the real critical question is whether there is still a continued supply of electricity to run the cooling pumps so that the fuel remains intact. Um, if so, then the plant can be safe indefinitely as long as the power remains there but that's a big if in a war zone. The first and last layer of defense of uh, the society against any nuclear accident, uh, in my judgment and based on my research are the nuclear plant operators. Because of this shelling and that we have a loss of offsite power, then we need to rely totally on the diesel, emergency diesel generators. And those are very unreliable, finicky piece of equipment, and they are so-called gas guzzlers.